Hi YouTube, it's Dee Dee Blast. How's everybody? I'm here to do some news for you. Uh, it's been a little bit uh, since I've been on, you know. <laughs> I've been relaxing, you know, enjoying myself. Um, I had a, a couple of uh, things, um, you know, that were needed my full attention, you know. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, it's nice to take a break, you know what I mean? Okay, now I have some news here. Um, I, I've had it for a minute. Um, some of it is, is current and some of it is semi-current, okay? Um, so I was able to, um, you know, uh, still write the news out uh, while I was taking care of a business, you know. So I went ahead and um, um, finished up, and so I'm ready. Okay, uh, so now uh, we're going to start. Um, um, uh, this is awful. I hate to put this to even be the first story, but you guys know uh, some of the uh, pages of the stories are, are gory, you know what I mean? But they must be heard. You must, uh, you know, hear the uh, the unthinkable, okay? All right, so we're going to start with uh, story one. Uh, a man uh, arrested uh, for impregnating um, his own daughter. Uh, he was uh, jailed uh, for eight years. <clears throat> He was jailed for uh, eight years uh, for incest, uh, three years uh, for the abortion, and two years for threatening. Uh, however, uh, the sentence uh, for threatening and incest are to run uh, concurrently. Uh, he said uh, to the cops he was 22, and actually he was actually 42. Um, uh, so he did make a, an apology to the young lady. Um, you know, but um, you know that sometimes apologies just isn't enough. All right, so um, that's good. He's jails. No more raping his daughter. You know, not you know what I mean. Okay, okay. Uh, now um, here's another story. It's very short. Um, it says here uh, uh, that a man uh, beats a pregnant wife uh, uh, after being uh, married for only 19 days. Okay, a Nigerian woman uh, named uh, Amarachi. Uh, Emuela has been beaten uh, to death uh, by her husband, whom she married uh, 19 days ago. So uh, there was no more information um, about this story. It was very short. Uh, what was uh, uh, surprising about it was that they were only married <laughs> for 19 days. You couldn't make it a year, you know, three years, you know. Wow, you know. Okay, uh, all right, here's another uh, a man arrested uh, for uh, sexual assault, <clears throat> abuse of a 13-year-old girl. <clears throat> Suik City uh, County Sheriff's uh, Office. Uh, a Woodbury uh, County man has been arrested uh, for allegedly uh, having uh, sexual abuse uh, with a 13-year-old uh, back in 2014. Uh, Dudley Ladd, uh, he's 46 years old, has been charged with uh, two counts of third-degree assault. Uh, on a 13-year-old, uh, Lad apologized. Uh, however, another apology. Those apologies don't mean nothing at all. You rape somebody and you want to apologize? Huh. I don't think you should accept nobody's apology that raped you. Okay, um, anyway, Lad apologized. Uh, however, uh, he's being held uh, in Woodbury County, uh, County Jail uh, on a bond of uh, 25000 Okay, uh, here's another. Okay, uh, now... Um, I just wanted you know, to slide in a little sports. I'm going to be putting in a little sports um, in because I'm actually uh, getting back um, into sports. So um, I just wanted to uh, continue to, you know, to put football, basketball, whatever they have, you know. Okay, okay. So now the Oakland Raiders uh, will take on uh, the Cleveland Browns uh, in a must-see win game on Sunday. And here is how you uh, can catch... Uh, catch of the week, uh, which is uh, week four. Uh, action Raiders are not as bad uh, as people think. Uh, reel uh, off a couple of games, reeled off a couple of games uh, in a row if they, they won. Okay, so if they uh, want to uh, uh, return uh, uh, to, to their uh, season, um, you know, they have to, uh, you know, lift their uh, play up. You know, if you're tackling, tackle it up. If you're shooting, quarterback it up. If you're wide receiving, you know what I mean? So, okay, so now the season, um, uh, for each season, there's, you know, what is it, the uh, preseason games? Okay, uh, but it all starts Sunday um, inside uh, the Coliseum. Uh, so we'll see, uh, you know, what happened with the uh, Oakland Raiders. I like the Oakland Raiders, you know. I think they're nice. My favorite team is the Dallas Cowboys, but that was many years ago. So I'm not even sure what Cowboys are actually uh, doing right now, you know. <laughs> All right. A school teacher refused to allow an 11-year-old student to be excused uh, to go to the ladies' room uh, for she started her period uh, for the first time. Uh, the teacher uh, knew she was um, in need uh, for a, a bathroom break because her mental started. She went through um, she went through the whole day in school soaked in period blood. 
How awful. Uh, her mother was pissed off at the, at the uh, treatment of her daughter by the uh, evil teacher. Uh, her mom wanted her daughter uh, to take the day off from school, but you know what? The little girl said, I'm going. She went back, so she got her little tampons and things. It was the first time, you know, of her period, you know. So, I mean, that, that was pretty bad she, to make her walk around school all day long. You know, what about the nursing school? You know, this teacher here, the, the teachers, huh, I usually say good things about teachers because I have seen some try to, you know, interact and, and try to help children. But I've also seen them not give a damn either. So this is one of those I give a damn. So her mother wanted her to stay off from school the next day, but she was strong. She went, and I'm proud of her. You know, everybody, little young girl, gets their period. You know what I mean? We all get our period. You know what I mean? Okay, all right. Now, um, this is a dead stick. Okay, but I'm gonna beat this stick. I'm gonna beat the stick. All right. So I'm gonna report this. Everybody's reporting it. It's all over the place. And da 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 da. Blah. I'm reporting it. Okay, Bill Cosby is having a hard time in prison uh, after falling down and having uh, food thrown on him. Uh, according to the Montgomery County uh, Courthouse, uh, representatives, uh, uh, Kobe made a call, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Cosby made a call uh, to his wife, uh, Camille Cosby, about his terrible first days in um, maximum security. Uh, according uh, uh, to the source, um, Cosby told his wife uh, that he had... Um, he had a stale hot dog bun, <laughs> and hot dog buns was thrown at him and later uh, fell down uh, because no one was assisting him, guiding him. Uh, so, you know, so there's a desperate cry uh, uh, from Cosby. Uh, he begged Camille uh, to do anything um, uh, to get him out. Um, released uh, to get him please out he needs to be released from prison uh, he expressed uh, to his 74 year old wife uh, that he was under siege okay now this is what i want to say all right cosby was transferred to a pennsylvania state correctional uh, institution on wednesday september 26 2018 the facility is new, a state-of-art uh, maximum security facility located approximately 25 miles uh, from the courthouse uh, where uh, he was convicted uh, in Montgomery County. Um, he is expected to do uh, three to 10 years in prison uh, for 60 uh, sexual assaults uh, throughout his career uh, from the 1960s uh, all the way up until 2014, okay? So what it is is, you know, um, you know, sometimes uh, men, uh, not all, I love men now, just speaking, I love y'all fellas, I love y'all a lot, but it is sometimes, you know, you had to walk away from your husband. I mean, I don't blame her for leaving. 60 women from the 60s all the way up to 2014, you've been raping women and then coming home to me and you expect me to stand by you in this shit. You know, like, I understand the ride or die thing, but if I was Camille, I would divorce him. <laughs> You, he, he's embarrassed you. He's embarrassed himself. I mean, you know, when you get around um, the different races of people, you can't do what they do. They may do that, and it's cool. They get away, but not you. See, you did that, and they saved that. You was getting ready to be owner of NBC. Ha. You did some of those rapes. You did, but some of them you didn't. But that's not the point. The point is you did do some of them, and you should pay for it. You should, you know. I'm not going to give Bill, Bill Cosby a pass. Uh, I recall uh, maybe uh, seven to ten years ago, uh, Cosby was uh, telling us how ignorant we were. We were ignorant niggers, and uh, he went in on us pretty bad, you know. He, uh, you know, um, you know it's, it's sad when you don't have no knowledge of how it is to, to live and be poor and not have anything, and you're just basically making your, um, you, hopefully you got dinner tonight, you know what I mean? So you kind of, you know, you can't do things that, that they do. You can't. They rape women, touch them, pinch them, look at Weinstein and the rest of them. Are they in jail or they just step down from their uh, business adventure? You know what I mean? I think they should go to jail too, you know? So I think it's unfair uh, to, to trial Cosby. That's what I will say. That is unfair. But Weinstein, all of those guys that are important white men, freaks. They gay, they freaks, homosexuals. And um, Cosby joined in with it. And uh, what happened? Your black ass went to jail, not them. Okay, so... You know, I do me. I don't do what other people do. I do me. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's the last one that I would like to do. Uh, this one is in, um, it's about uh, the Braxtons. I guess they're uh, on Ayala, uh, uh, Fix My Life. Uh, uh, with the Braxtons family at odds uh, like never before, uh, they turned to Ayala uh, Vazant uh, in a, uh, a last, uh, you know, ditch effort uh, to repair uh, the broken relationships um, in the um 
in the heated uh, clip from the uh, two-part uh, season finale, um, Van Zandt, uh, which is Ayala, has a ha has had enough. <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, she told the family off, and then she you, you did let them know that they were wasting her time. And before and, and storming out, she just stormed out the session. So Tamar says she's a fraud. She's fake. Is that defamation? Yeah, I would say that's defamation because you know you and your sisters are not getting along because of you, Tamar. You're the problem. But see, you know why you don't get under my skin? Because I like your sister, Tony. I don't give a damn if Tony is a man or not. She's beautiful, and I loved her music. And the rest of you Braxons, y'all all right, but y'all not Tony. I like Tony. You know, y'all like Tamar? Go ahead. <laughs> she all right, but it's Tony Braxton. It's the queen. Tony Braxton is the reason why they all on TV today. You understand? So she should respect Tony. I don't want to hear her dot-com bullshit against her sister, Tony. I don't want to hear it. And your other siblings need to get along with them too, Tamar. You a problem. Huh? You a problem. Everywhere you go, the friendships get fucked up. The, the 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 whole situation is all fucked up when it you know, you're not that friend worthy type chick, you know. And I don't understand the big deal about you at all. And when you were singing and you were on stage with your hair flowing, I thought it was Beyonce. But it's you. So anyway, it's you. You're the reason why the family's all messed up. Okay? So uh, you know, so all right guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I got a chance to get a few uh, um, um, uh, news stories in. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. So uh, I, I plan to come back tonight. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook dinner uh, and get everything situated with that. I'm gonna, I got some more laundry to fold too, y'all. I love doing uh, housework. I do, you know. So it's not perfect here, but, you know, we try to uh, keep it organized. And, you know, so when your house is lived in, you know, you're changing clothes through the week. And then on Saturdays is our uh, cleanup day. Saturday is cleanup day. Friday is fish fry. And uh, Saturday is cleanup day. And Wednesday is uh, spaghetti day. We have spaghetti on Wednesdays. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to go. Um, well, it was nice uh, talking to you all. I, I really appreciate uh, you listening uh, uh, to the news. I just want to say subscribe, you know, subscribe to Didi Blast's uh, news channel. Uh, it's going to go. It's going to grow. It's going to get, you know, hot. It's going to get hot in here. Like uh, what, Nelly is getting hot in here. <laughs> So that's how I want my channel. I want my channel to flow, you know, to, you know, so it's not going to be gossip, y'all. You know, it's, it's going to be news. And then we're going to find other things to do with the channel um, besides the news. So we'll get to that eventually, eventually, you know. <laughs> but for right now, that's my plan. Okay. Uh, so I want to say, uh, uh, have a nice evening, everybody. Uh, you know, I'm wondering, ladies, what are you cooking tonight, you know? All right. Uh, I'll see you guys a little later. Uh, I may come back later and do a story. I may, you know. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody.